Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding Spring Wardens faction uh, which kind of benefits you will get uh, by playing the Spring Wardens faction in general uh, are they like free to play friendly, what kind of heroes are good with them so in general we will have a discussion regarding like Spring Wardens uh, overall for myself, I'm playing with this faction uh, whenever I joined the game uh, and I saw the elves uh, and the green, I got the wipes of the Lord of the Rings and my childhood was all about Lord of the Rings. So, like, uh, even Gwenwin, the main hero for the Spring Wardens, looked like a Legolas. So that was my main idea and my reasoning why I chose these Spring Wardens. Later on in the game, whenever I learned what kind of synergies in this game are in general, uh, and when I understood the game uh, more and more, uh, I find out that Spring Wardens are not like one of the best uh, factions and they are not the worst uh, for a free-to-play uh, occasion. Uh, well, they are pretty costly and they are not uh, as, like really free to play friendly faction in general. So, as any uh, faction, uh, Spring Wardens have their own units, uh, like any, as any other faction, uh, marksmen, uh, infantry, mages, uh, cavalry, special units, right? But for every faction, these units has a, have a different uh, skills in their skill set. So we will uh, check one by one which kind of uh, unique skill sets Spring Wardens faction has currently. So like simply because I'm a Spring Warden I can go and I can check one by one. Uh, let's say first the marksmen, right? Uh, like archers. Uh, the unique skill of the Spring Warden archers are uh, undoubted which can like decrease the march speed of, march speed, uh, of the enemy up to 2% and gonna increase like physical attack uh, by 5% of your uh, full archer units. These are like unique uh, uh, skills for the Spring Warden archers, like almost every faction has a unique skills in their units uh, skill set. Uh, now we can go to the mages, like long live trends, and their uh, unique uh, skill is like a, whenever a couple of mages are standing still, they are giving like legions defense, 20% uh, defense uh, increase uh, for 15 seconds, which is pretty good, right? Uh, you need to have at least one uh, friendly surrounding uh, a legion, and you're gonna give yourself and your friendly legion 20% uh, defensive stats for 15 seconds, which is like great. 15 seconds is a long time, and uh, like more defense for the mages in general is not bad, right? So, like, this is a unique. Uh, skill of the Spring Wardens, of course, there are like a couple of references towards Lord of the Rings and by the looks like trends and giving the defense and that's like uh, another reason why I continued playing with the uh, Spring Wardens faction. Now we can move to the uh, Elk Riders, the cavalry units of the Spring Wardens. Uh, their unique uh, skill set uh, is that like their cavalry units are not melee, they are ranged, they are like uh, archers on the horses, like elks. Um, so that's the unique thing about Spring Warden in general, like their cavalry units are not like rushing, marching units fighting in a melee range, they are actually ranged. Uh, so yeah, that's like main and most important uh, unique thing about Spring Warden's army in general, that their, their calves are not not uh, melee range, right? Uh, now, like the fourth one, infantry units, iron break trends, again, like forest stuff, right? Uh, like they have like pretty many, like a lot of skills in general, the same as every infantry unit in the game. And regarding like unique uh, uh, skills for the iron break trends are like they are giving a uh, lot more counter-attack damage whenever they are hit by ranged attacks, like hit by ranged attacks means uh, mages, uh, like celestials, uh, marksmen, and like this, everything what's gonna hit you on a ranged unit, you're gonna deal, deal more counter-attack damage, so that's like a unique skill of the infantry units. 
Um, as every other faction, uh, Springortons have like special units, which are forest eagles. They are pretty interesting, but that's like the main weakness, in my opinion, for the Spring Warden faction, that their uh, Forest Eagle special units are melee units, flying cavalry melee units. It's great that they are flying, simply because flying units has a lot of benefits in this game, but they are weak, simply because they need to get too, uh, too close to the enemy, and whenever you are flying closer to the enemy, you are getting hit by marksmen, you are getting hit by uh, mage units, you are getting hit by celestials, so until you will get to your destination, you are pretty much dead. So that's why I think they are weak uh, currently into the season 2 plus in this current map, whenever there is like small corridors, a lot of mountains. It's good they are like flying units, but melee uh, ranged is horrible in my opinion, but it is what it is. We still need to speak regarding every unit type, so uh, Forest Eagles are special units of the Spring Warden faction. Uh, like simply, whenever you are playing with the Forest Eagles, the unique uh, skill of the Eagles are like whenever they are entering to the battle, they are getting increased attack damage. Uh, they are not like most perfect uh, special units in the game. Uh, like, for example, League of Order special unit Celestials are the best one, but if you like how they look, and in general you like to play cavalry units, uh, you can understand that uh, Spring Wardens are in general more cavalry unit type uh, uh, faction, uh, but, uh, yeah, like, uh, their cavalry units are more, uh, like, ranged units, but their special units, uh, Eagles, are melee units, it's like... Uh, minus cavalry units, which are we should have been melee, they are ranged, but their specials are melee. Uh, so, like, uh, that's the uh, all I wanted to speak regarding uh, units in the game for the Spring Wardens faction. Now we need to speak like one of the most important aspects whenever we are speaking. <laughs> whenever we are speaking about faction, is a main hero. Uh, which uh, whenever you are speaking a faction, you are choosing uh, uh, not only because of the uh, attributes from the faction, not only because of the units, you are choosing because of the hero you are getting. By the looks, Gwenwin looks amazing, uh, but since I have been, been playing this game for so long, I can understand uh, what kind of advantages Spring Warden's main hero has, right? And you can see I have a vacant. Well, uh, Gwenwin is not the best epic hero in the game, but uh, whenever you are starting the game, uh, she will help you a lot. Uh, like, talent trees, marksman, peacekeeping, and precision. Well, peacekeeping is not always a great thing, uh, because you're gonna use only whenever you are killing Darklings for the experience, right? Uh, it would be better that, uh, like, there wasn't a peacekeeping and there was, like, PvP, and it would be better for Gwenwin simply because... We would be able to use Gwenwin in the PvP battles, but in general, Gwenwin has a two um, viability. One, she is one of the best uh, behemoth killers, uh, simply because whenever you're gonna awaken Gwenwin, her uh, normal attacks will deal uh, poison, and whenever behemoths have like 3 million, 10 million HP, uh, poison and in general, ticking damage is amazing. Uh, and the other, like, you can gain experience pretty easily, and in general, if you are just starting the game, uh, it's nothing wrong whenever you are playing with Gwenwin. Uh, but her main strengths, even in the later uh, game, uh, she's one of the best, if not the best, uh, behemoth damage dealers in the game. So, uh, if you are playing especially as a marksman uh, main, and you, are, you want to... Uh, prioritize marksmen. Uh, your first choice, Gwenwin, will be totally fine. Uh, her like main pairs in general are like whenever you're gonna start the game, uh, Nico and Gwenwin, Gwenwin or Nico, uh, and like in general when when you're gonna move uh, progress in the game, you of course you're gonna change Gwenwin with something else. But uh, whenever you're gonna choose the uh, Spring Ward faction and start the game. Uh, you will pre be pretty happy about Gwenwin in general, right? Uh, like uh, uh, skill damage factor, even poison attack, and also uh, you gonna like Gwenwin will be the first uh, 
hero you will be able to awaken uh, because if you choose the uh, spring world infection with the quests you are getting the shards of the main hero and the Gwenwin uh, is the main hero of the spring world infection so uh, like uh, if you like the theme of the spring wardens in general and if you like the units uh, which I just discussed then you should uh, honestly play with the spring wardens uh, but for the free to play players like especially as I'm a free-to-play player, I have not spent a single dollar in this game. Uh, honestly, I don't think that Spring Wardens are in general free-to-play friendly faction. Uh, they are uh, main, like mostly pay-to-win players faction because uh, like if we only gonna speak regarding faction bonuses, elixir production speed of five percent is great thing to have. But it's more beneficiary whenever you are tier 5 player and you have a lot of legions and you are constantly fighting. Uh, if you are a free-to-play player, like it's impossible for you. Uh, like once your hospital is full, you are done for the fighting, which means like five legions maximum into the battlefield, right? So like elixir production speed is useless for the free-to-play players and it's amazing for pay-to-win players. Uh, Legion March Speed uh, bonus, well, uh, March Speed is a great thing to have in general, but not that important in my opinion. Uh, like, uh, this March Speed bonus is played around the cavalry units of the Spring Wardens, and in general, honestly, cavalry units are one of the weak, uh, weakest unit types in the game currently, so... Uh, like all the synergies between cavalry units and uh, like march speed of the faction bonus is pretty weak uh, currently, right? Uh, so like uh, if you are a free-to-play player for, for the beginning, of course you can you can have fun and uh, choose whichever faction you want. But if you want to maximize your profits and the values and the time you are playing the game and you want to choose the perfect option for the uh, free-to-play play, play uh, gaming in general and in play style then I would not be I would not recommend to choose spring wardens as your uh, one and only faction uh, simply because there are like other faction which is way way better for a free-to-play friendly uh, gameplay uh, especially if you are going to spend even a single dollar in the game right uh, like elixir production speed is not is useless for a free-to-play player and the legion march speed is not that important uh, Gwenwin as a hero uh, she is like average like even better than average uh, that's why I would not like go crazy about uh, Gwenwin of course she is amazing with the Behemoth battles uh, and can be good to level up some heroes um, every reset and like every beginning of the new season. But she is not that amazing to use to be used in a uh, war battles or to be used in a roots of war, for example. So yeah, like this is like a main uh, guide about spring wardens faction uh, and my idea regarding like if the faction is a free to play friendly um, i think it's a like half friendly half not friendly uh, but if you want to go to the greatest choice uh, regarding free to play uh, faction then uh, the next video will be about the faction which is much more free to play friendly and uh, the hero of that uh, faction is one of the best epic uh, if not not one of the best the best epic heroes in the game yeah uh, this is all i wanted to speak um, regarding like spring wardens uh, by the looks i think they are the best uh, faction in the game uh, by gameplay they are not the best by uh, free to play friendly content they are not the best uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I guess uh, people are choosing Spring Wardens whenever they have no idea uh, about the game, simply on looks, and I can totally understand them. Uh, that's how I chose this faction whenever I started to pl playing the game. Uh, I had a reference to the Lord of the Rings, and uh, my childhood was all about Lord of the Rings. I'm a big, big fan of the Legolas in general, and she actually kinda looks like Legolas. That's the outfit uh, Orlando Bloom had. Uh, while playing Legolas uh, in the Lord of the Rings. Uh, I hope <laughs> you guys have an idea what I'm talking about. It would be pretty weird if uh, um, like my Lord of the Rings rant would be like a nonsense for you. So yeah, I, 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 I hope there are like some old, old uh, people uh, uh, listening to me right now. 
uh, and they know how great Lord of the Rings was in the past and even currently right now. Uh, yep, that's all I wanted to share regarding my view about Spring Warden's faction in general. Um, I'm gonna continue doing uh, like League of Orders and Wilderbergs, of course, with their unique skills and unique heroes. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna continue making content for you guys. I hope you are liking the video. Uh, and thanks for watching and thanks for kind works. If you like the content, press the like button, press the subscribe button and uh, wait for me until I'm gonna make a new great content for you. Bye-bye, uh, see you very soon.